Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my January beauty favourites. I can't believe we're already at the end of January. This year is going so quickly already. I have quite a few new products that I'm going to talk about that I've tried throughout January that I really loved. If you'd like to see some of my favourite beauty products for the month of January, then please keep watching. The first product I'm going to talk about is this Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. This has been such a hyped up product recently and it is actually amazing. I've tried it out a few times now as a primer underneath foundation and it just works incredible. The secret to this product is it has glycerin in it so that is what works really well as a primer on the skin because with glycerin everything that you use on your face is just going to stick to it and I have found that my foundation lasts a lot longer throughout the day. I don't get as many of the little lines around my mouth start to show or anything so I've been really impressed with this product. It does, it does have a really manly smell to it though, so that's only like when you first put it on, it definitely goes away after you put on all the rest of your makeup products, but so far I've been really impressed with this post shave balm and I think I'll continue to use it as a primer for a little while longer. Next is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I've been using these so much lately, I especially love to use them when I'm using a lighter coverage foundation and I just want to add a little bit more coverage, I'll add in a couple of drops of this and it just transforms your foundation into a lot more coverage, it's amazing. I also really love to use this when I'm in between tans and I need a bit of a darker colour than my lighter foundations I use. I'll add in a few drops of this and it just gives it a little bit more of a tan shade. So I've been loving using these recently. And I have this in the colour G40 which is a really nice tan shade. I've been loving these Cover FX Custom Cover Drops throughout the month of January. This concealer here I have not been able to put down for the past month or so. It is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light Pale and this is such an amazing concealer. I've been using it during the day pretty much every day because it is such a sheer amount of coverage but the coverage lasts on your skin all day long. It doesn't feel too heavy or too cakey so that's why I really really love this to use every day. And the colour is really nice for highlighting under the eyes and covering up any blemishes or dark circles as well. So I have really been loving the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer for the past month. So this one here is the Tarte Tartiest Contour Palette and I've recently tried this one out a couple of times and I have to say I am absolutely in love with it. First of all the packaging is just incredibly beautiful with the gold and it's got this really nice kind of velvety texture on the cover here, it's really really nice. And looking inside the packaging, it has this nice big mirror of the top here which is great for taking this with you travelling. You've got your little mirror that you can look into to do your makeup with. And just the range of shades, I just first of all love how the packaging looks. It's got the little five colours around this little flower pattern. And I really really love the colours. So far I've tried out the highlight shade. And I will say it's a little bit less pigmented than I probably would like such as the Anastasia or Kat Von D highlight powder, but I do really like this for just a very natural, everyday highlighted look under the eyes. And I've also tried out the contour shades. I've mixed them together or I've used just this one on its own, and I really, really like them. They're very easy to blend and they're quite a creamy formula, so I find them really easy to apply on the skin. And first of all, oh my god, it smells like chocolate. It's like cocoa powder infused in this product and it is amazing. Every time I open it I just get this like whiff of chocolate smell. It's like, oh my god, it's so good. So that's another reason why I do love this palette. I'm yet to try the other two highlight shades. I do plan on trying them very shortly. I think I'll be using this in a video very shortly because I have been loving it a lot. So these are some swatches of the contour powders in the Tarte Tartius Contour Palette. So this one here is the lighter shade and then this one is the darker shade. They were very creamy when I swatched them. There wasn't too much of a powderiness with these so they didn't start to flake or come off. So, And I'm really impressed with the pigmentation. The contour powders definitely come out a little bit more pigmented than the highlight powders. So I really like those and the colours I think are really wearable for more light to medium skin tones and then more tan to dark skin tones as well. So that's really good that it caters for all skin tones. So the next product I have here is this Illamasqua blush and I'll be honest I haven't tried a lot of Illamasqua products but I did hear that their blushes were really good and I did want to try out this colour. I have seen Anne Raisi on Instagram use this shade a few times and it just looked beautiful on her so I really wanted to try this one out. It is in the colour Excite. I really love the packaging of the Illamasqua blushes. They're very chic and sleek looking and I just think they look beautiful. And it's just this really beautiful bright coral pink blush. I just 
Really, really love the colour of this one. I am wearing it on my cheeks today. And you do have to have a very light hand when using this because the pigmentation is phenomenal. It's really, really full colour. So be very careful when applying Illamasqua blushes that you don't use too much of a heavy hand. And so that is the shade there. So you can see it's quite bright when you first swatch it but when you're applying it on the cheeks you can just use a very light hand to dust it on and it just looks beautiful just gives you a really nice pinky coral glow which i really love especially for summertime so i've been loving this excite blush by illamasqua throughout january so next i have some highlighting powders and these are the gerard cosmetics highlighting powders and i've been really really loving these for the past month i have these three shades in the highlighters my favorite one is marilyn and then I have the other two colours which are called Lucy and Audrey. So I'll show you what the colours look like. And can we talk about the packaging of these? Oh my god. Beautiful gold. I absolutely love gold packaging. It's got the little Gerard Cosmetics logo in the middle. Which I think is really nice. And then it has a little button that you push to open the compact. It has a nice mirror at the top here which is really handy. And then also with the highlight powder it has this little cover that you open up which I think was a really clever design because highlighting powders especially when you drop them on the floor they tend to just shatter everywhere so having this little protective cover I thought was a really great idea and then this is the powder inside it's really beautiful gold this is the color Marilyn which is my favorite shade I am wearing it on my cheeks today and I just think it gives the most beautiful and natural looking highlight it's not as pigmented and full color as some other highlighters I have so I do quite like this for just a very natural, everyday highlighted look. And I'm not sure if you can see in the packaging here, but it has the little GC for dry cosmetics imprinted in the powder as well. And I'll swatch the colours so you can see what the powders look like. Okay, so that one there is Marilyn. So just a really beautiful, soft, white gold shade. I really, really love this colour. And it is quite a smooth application. It wasn't too powdery or anything like that. So this one does blend really nicely on the skin as well. And this next shade here is called Lucy, and this is more of a rose gold pink colour. I think it's really pretty. I would use this as a blush or as a really soft highlight when I have a tan, and I think it would look really, really pretty on the skin. So I'll swatch this one as well so you can see the colour. So that is the shade Lucy. So it's got that really nice reflective rosy gold pink sheen to it. I just think it's really, really pretty. And I'm looking forward to trying this colour out. I haven't used this one as much as Marilyn, so... I'm going to start wearing this colour a little bit more because it shows up really, really beautiful. And then the last shade here is called Audrey. And this is just a really, really softer gold highlight than Marilyn. And I just think this one is so incredibly beautiful as well. And so that one there is Audrey. And it does have more of a yellow gold tone to it. So that would be really pretty on tan skin as well. Or I'd like to use this as an eyeshadow on the eye. I think that would look really pretty too. So these are the three shades from the Gerard Cosmetics Highlighters range. And I've been absolutely loving these throughout the month of January. Okay, so now let's talk about some eye products. I've got a couple of products that are quite new that I've tried out throughout January that I absolutely love. And then I have some that I've just kind of fell in love with again. So I'll show you my favourite eye products. First I have the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This is the most amazing eyebrow gel. Oh my god, I've been using this non-stop. I just can't stay away from it. It's just such an incredible product. First of all, the pigment of this is amazing for a coloured eyebrow gel. When I first applied this on the eyebrows, I couldn't get over how much pigment and how much colour it had. So I was really, really impressed with that. And I just find when I wear this, my brows pretty much look like I filled them in with a brow pencil. I just find a brow gel incredibly easy to use for day to day when you might not have enough time to fill in your brows with pencils or brow gel creams so I find using a brow gel is just so quick and easy to do and I find that my eyebrows do stay in place really well when I use this one because it does set and hold your eyebrows in place so I've been absolutely loving the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and I use the colour medium dark in this one. My favourite mascara for the month of January has definitely been this Tarte Lights Camera Flashes mascara. I haven't been able to use another mascara because I've been loving this one so much. First of all, I think the packaging is so cute and unique. And then you twist the brush out the top here. You can see the wand is quite a medium sized wand. So I find that really helpful for getting right into the roots of the lashes and to curl your lashes up. And I do find this is a really good curling mascara, but it also adds really good length and volume as you build it up. So it pretty much does everything in one. So 
That's why I've been loving this mascara throughout the last month. This next product here was a newer purchase and this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And this is actually the limited edition version of the Tattoo Liner, celebrating five fabulous years of Kat Von D. So when I saw this one came out as limited edition, I was going to originally get the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and then I saw this one came out in this really unique cool packaging so I thought I would pick this one up. So this is what it looks like here, it's this gunmetal grey colour with all these little black stars around it and it actually has Kat Von D's signature on the lid so I thought that was really cool. This is a felt tip liquid liner and I find this so so easy to use. With other felt tip liners I find them to be quite dry or not show up enough black colour on the lid but this one is absolutely amazing, I haven't had that issue whatsoever. And this I've been finding really easy to use if you're on the go and you just need to quickly do a little bit of eyeliner on the eyes. You don't have time to get out your gel eyeliner with a brush or a liquid eyeliner that's a little bit more messy. This type of felt tip liner I find works really well and I've been especially loving this one from Kat Von D throughout the month of January. I have two eyeshadow palettes that I've been absolutely loving, especially the last month that I wanted to share with you. The first one is the Carly Bible palette and... At first when I got this I was like, yeah, it's just like another eyeshadow palette, but when I started using it I was like, oh my god, the pigmentation of these eyeshadows is incredible. And the fact that it's from BH Cosmetics, which is a very affordable brand, makes it even better. This palette was about $12, I believe, US, and that's just amazing for the amount of eyeshadows you get and the quality of the products. So first of all it comes with a nice big mirror, so I find that really handy when you're trying to do your eyeshadow on the go or if you're traveling it just makes it really easy to be able to use the mirror in the actual eyeshadow palette so I thought that was a really good idea and then you do get 10 eyeshadow colors all together and four highlighters down the bottom here that's 14 products that you get in this one eyeshadow palette for like $12 so <laughs> that's very very good value the pigmentation of this palette is just oh my god it's so amazing especially the shimmery colors they can usually be quite crumbly or not show off enough pigmentation with drugstore brands but I find the quality of these to be absolutely incredible. I did use this palette in my previous video for the Kylie Jenner Golden Globes look that I recreated. I used this lighter copper bronze colour and the darker brown colour and you can see in that video how pigmented they were and how amazing they showed up on the eyes so I've been absolutely loving this palette throughout January especially. So these are the swatches from the palette. I've got three eyeshadow colours on the ends here and you can just see how amazing and pigmented they are. Even the matte colour here, I find that to be super creamy and really easy to blend on the eyes. You can see from the swatch that it looks really, really amazing and pigmented. Then I have the two copper and the darker bronze colours that I used on my eyes in my last video. Then I've also got two of the highlight shades here. So you can see how beautiful and shimmery and pigmented they are and the quality of these eyeshadows and highlighters is just next to nothing it's so amazing for the price you're paying these eyeshadows and highlighters are definitely worth trying out and the next eyeshadow palette is the morphe 350 palette i know i've talked about this in a couple of previous videos and i did a look with it recently in my kylie jenner video as well but i can't stop talking about this palette it has just come back in stock on morphe's website so that's why i wanted to mention it today because if you can get your hands on this do it as soon as possible because this has literally got to be one of the best palettes that I've ever tried. So these are the colours. So it's a very warm toned palette but oh my god the range of colours first of all is amazing. And you do get a lot of shimmers and mattes in this palette as well. You pretty much have a lot of different eye makeup looks covered in this one palette and I believe these palettes are about $20 as well. Such good quality when you're getting 35 eyeshadows in here for $20. So <laughs> that's such great value. And the pigmentation of these, oh my god, it's so incredible. The shimmery colours come out so bright and intense. And the matte shades just blend so easily on the eye. They're so creamy and buttery. And I haven't had any issues using these eyeshadows. I've been pretty much using them every single day in any eyeshadow look I do because I can't put this palette down. It is just such an amazing palette by Morphe. So these are some of the swatches from the Morphe palette and oh my god look at the pigmentation, it's unbelievable. I have swatched some matte shades and also some of the shimmers so you could see the different textures and I can't get over how amazing this palette is. If you don't have it in your collection, go out and get it right now while it's available because it always sells out very quickly and I'm not surprised why. It is literally one of the best eyeshadow palettes I think I've ever seen and I've ever used. So go out and get the Morphe 350 palette. So next I'm going to share with you a couple of my favourite lip products from the month of January. 
First I have these two lip products from Dose of Colours and these two I've been wearing together and it's been the perfect nude shade that I've been wearing pretty much nearly every day. I can't get enough of these colours. So the first one is a liquid lipstick in the colour Truffle and this is just a beautiful nude tone pink shade. It's just pretty much the perfect nude pink in a lipstick and I've just been loving this colour so much, especially throughout the last month. So you can see the shade there, it's a really beautiful nude pink with a hint of mauve to it and I just find this to be the perfect pink shade for my lip colour. It's very similar to my natural lip colour so I find that this just enhances my own lip colour a little bit and I just absolutely love the texture of these liquid lipsticks by Dose of Colours. They definitely have one of the best formulas. They don't feel really dry on the lips, they don't crack or anything. They do stay on really well even when you're eating and drinking throughout the day. I haven't found any of the Dose of Colours liquid lipsticks to come off so this particular colour truffle has been my favourite one throughout the last month. And this one here is a lip gloss by Dose of Colours in the colour Rosé. This is just a beautiful mauve toned pink gloss. And on the days when I want a little bit more of a shiny look on my lips, I'll put this over the top of Truffle and it just gives you the most amazing natural pink colour on the lips. I absolutely love it. So that is the colour Rose. So it's very similar to Truffle. It's just a tiny bit more of a mauve tone and it just looks phenomenal on the lips. I really love the lip glosses by Dose of Colours. They're extremely pigmented. They're very creamy and they're not sticky at all. So I just find Rose paired on top of Truffle looks beautiful together or they just look amazing on their own as well. So... This has definitely been my go-to nude combination for the past month. And my next favourite lip product has been these liquid lipsticks by Lipland Cosmetics in collaboration with Amrezy on Instagram. And when I saw Amrezy was launching her own liquid lipstick collection, I knew I had to get it. I've been following her for such a long time. I absolutely love all of her makeup looks and her fashion. And I just thought the colours she chose for her collaboration were perfect. They're the sort of colours that I would want to do myself in a collaboration, so that's why I really wanted to pick these up. So these are the liquid lipsticks, and first of all, the packaging is just incredible. It just looks so high quality and luxe and beautiful with the gold and the black. I just think the packaging of these is just next to nothing. It is so amazing. And then the liquid lipstick comes in this frosted glass bottle and... I just think this is such a beautiful design and as soon as I saw the packaging of these I knew I had to have them as well. So this first shade here is called Reezy and this is a beautiful warm nude pink shade. I've been alternating this with the Dose of Colours liquid lipstick and gloss on days where I'm wearing nude lipsticks. These have pretty much been the only ones I've been wearing because I just love the colours of these. So that's the shade Reezy there. It's just a really beautiful softer warm pink tone. So if I'm just wanting something very, very natural on my lips, like a lighter pink shade, I find this sort of colour is just amazing. I'm not much of a fan of the kind of bubblegum type pink shades, so these particular shades here is definitely up my alley in terms of a nude pink. So I've been really loving Reezy Liquid Lipstick by Anne Reezy and Lipland. This next colour is this beautiful coral red shade called Brooklyn. Oh my god, I'm absolutely in love with this colour. I'm wearing it on my lips today and... I'm just so in love with it. I really, really love bright coral pinky red colours throughout summer. And when I saw this colour was launched by Anne Reezy, I definitely had to have it because it's just so incredibly beautiful. So that is the shade there. You can just see how vibrant and how amazing the pigmentation is of these liquid lipsticks. I will say the formula is a tiny bit drying on the lips, but it's nothing uncomfortable at all. It just feels a little bit dry to the touch, but that's something I can definitely live with. But I'm absolutely in love with the colours and this one here, Brooklyn. I can see myself wearing it a lot in summer over here in Australia. I just absolutely love this colour. And the last shade in the Amrezy collection with Lipland Cosmetics is this really vampy dark purple shade called Montenegro. And this is just such a phenomenal colour. If you're looking for a really vampy looking purpley red shade, definitely try out Montenegro. I just think the colour is so amazing and so beautiful on the lips. So that is the shade down there. It is just, oh my god, it's incredible. It reminds me of Rebel from MAC in a lipstick form and I just love that this is in a liquid lipstick because I love wearing liquid lipsticks a lot more than regular lipsticks now just because I find they last so much more on the lips and they don't come off when you're eating or drinking. So I definitely find these ones that don't do that either and this is just such a beautiful dark purple shade that I think would look incredible on a lot of different skin tones. So I've been really loving the Amrezy collection with Lip Flame Cosmetics in their liquid lipsticks. And just another product I wanted to quickly talk about 
is the nails that I have on today. These are a leopard print type of stick-on nails and I just find these so quick and easy to use. I used to get acrylic nails done and I used to find the damage to my own nails was just really bad whenever I got them taken off. My nails would be like paper thin and I'd find they'd break so easily. So I gave my nails a rest from getting acrylics done for a while but my own nails don't grow very much at all so I wanted to look for something alternative and when I saw they stick on now. I thought, oh, these look really interesting. I wonder if they're going to work, how good they are. So I gave them a go and I've been loving wearing them for the past month or so. So this is the leopard print design. I also have them in a few others, but this one I thought was really cool and something different. So this is what they look like in the packaging. It's a brand called Nail Art. And I bought these in Kmart or you can find them in Priceline in Australia. And they're $4 a packet. So first of all, very cheap. And I find that the nails do stay on your nails for roughly about a week and there's a lot of nails in this collection that you could apply them a couple of times as well so you get really good value for your money and I've just been finding these so easy and so quick to do and I find the glue that you use on your own nails it doesn't really make your nails go really bad or really gross or anything so that's always a plus. I've been loving these nail art nail design stick-ons for the last month of January especially. So those are all my favourite beauty products for the month of January. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You saw some products that you might want to go out and try for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.